This is an engine out of a 1997 Jeep TJ. I'm going to give you a quick instructional video in terms of how to install the distributor. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to get your timing mark lined up to zero. So if you look at the pulley on the very front of the engine, there is a little notch. I tried to highlight it in white. And there's also one on the other side that I highlighted in white. I just used a piece of chalk. And I also tried to mark zero on the actual mark on the actual um, engine. And so the idea is you want to mark up, want to line up these marks so that everything is lined up at zero. But you need to do that when the engine is firing on number one cylinder. There are some other, if your engine's been disturbed after you've had your distributor removed, you will want to do a search to, for some other Google videos that explain how to determine when you are on top dead center on the firing stroke for cylinder number one. So once everything is lined up with top dead center and you have and you know you're on the firing for number one cylinder, this is where you start to, you have your distributor and the distributor has a bunch of little holes in it. These holes are 3 sixteenths of an inch I just used a drill bit, wrap some tape around it, a 3 16 inch drill bit, wrap some tape around it, and you actually can slide it in the hole and make sure you use the right hole, and then that actually locks it in place. So this will assist you in making sure everything lines up when you do the install of the distributor. So the next step, once you have that distributor lined up with the pin, you have to get your oil plug lined up in the right place, or your oil pump slot. I'm trying my best here to get get an angle, but if you look, you can see that it's not quite at 9 degrees and it's not quite at 10 degrees. It's kind of between, it's like 9.5 degrees. And you can see that where using that as 9 degrees, the top as 12 degrees, it's kind of right in this range right in between here. So that's kind of what I've done in order to line up the distributor or the oil pump so that when you slide the distributor in, everything pops in. The whole idea is when you slide in the distributor, you want that little screw hole to be right in the very center of the teeth of the distributor. And that would be right here. So this is the distributor where you've put the pin in, and then you have this little slot. The center of that slot is where you want in the center of that hole. So if for some reason the distributor does not line up or the oil pump slot does not line up, that's where you just use a flathead screwdriver, you put it down the hole, get it in the slot and you just rotate slightly in order to line it back up. Like I said, you don't want it at 9 o'clock, you don't want it at 12 o'clock, you want it kind of right in between and that's where we have it sitting. So now I'm going to try to install the distributor, here's just another quick shot of where the slot is for the oil pump and now I'm going to grab the distributor so the distributor still has that locking pin in hold the distributor at approximately one o'clock you have that little notch sitting at approximately the one o'clock position and you just kind of put it in and it'll mesh up with the gears and then it'll drop down if things are in the right place, you will kind of, I'm going to see if I can get in there. You can see that the center of the distributor is lined up with the center of the hole. The distributor is all the way down. So that tells me that I've got the distributor in the right place. Another thing too is if you look at the top of the distributor, it has a notch towards the back of the engine. That notch looks, is lined up with this, that notch is lined up with this slot. And that's also telling me that I have everything lined up correctly for number one firing position. So this is in. So now I'm going to install the bolt. I'm going to try to keep the distributor centered over top where that bolt and the clamp goes. So now I'm going to So I'm going to install my clamp. And that's using a 13 millimeter wrench. And then I'm going to put the rest of it together. So I'll be so I have reinstalled the mounting bolt and clamp. I have also verified that the distributor is fully down. It's sitting right on top of the engine, so I know that that's in. I also still have my pin in. 
and it's secure now. So that's sitting in where it needs to be. So now you can actually start putting your distributor back together. You pull out your pin, and then what you do is you take your cam position sensor. It really only goes on one way. Slide it down, locks in. Then you take your rotor, or your, that's yeah, called a rotor. Take your rotor, put your rotor in place. It should be pointing to where the wire is, and it is. And then, what you need to do is then you reinstall your distributor cap. Make sure you put it on the right way. Reinstall your distributor cap. Bolt her back up, and that would be the installation. Done deal. If for some reason you actually disconnected your wires from your spark plugs, the firing order is 1342. On your distributor cap, there will be a little marking that tells you it's number one. And when we just installed the distributor, we knew that this was number one because that's where the rotor was pointing. So that goes to number one cylinder. And then rotating. Rotating clockwise, it goes number three cylinder. This is number four cylinder. This one goes to number four. And then the last one, which is this one, goes to number two. So, like I said, it goes one, three, four, two, and the middle one, the middle one goes to your coil pack.